my favorite song uh, is um day by day the first line is simply day by day and if in each passing moment it does not tell me that god will save me after one year i was born adventist and uh, raised as an adventist for as long as i have been alive in as much as not both my parents were going to church at that time I remember my father coming home at times a bit drunk, a bit shaky, but he always made sure that he got us to sit down together, get our a local uh, dialect uh, as we call it Nyagendia and we would sing from this in preparation for the Sabbath. But yeah, it was just that. It was Saturday comes, Saturday we go to church. I'd say Uh, my Damascus moment happened when I was at the last years of my primary school in class 8 just about to join high school. I was a good girl uh, in school and a bad girl at home. That thing happens in stories only, but it was actually reality for me. There was a disconnect between the two. And so I remember there was this time we had camp meeting. Camp meeting was going on. I was preparing for my KCPE at that time as well. And my mom tries to ask me to join her for camp meeting and I was like no mom I'm not going I'm preparing for my exams and plus I feel like uh, we are not in the right space to be talking to each other. And so she says okay if you don't want to come to come for camp meeting then I'll go. But she gets there and she calls me and she informs me of my other friends who were had also attended and I did not expect them to attend and I'm like ah okay if that is the case then I'm coming. When I got to church we had just received a new pastor at that time and um one of my friends comes and tells me that uh, Mrs. Pastor is looking for you. But you know she's just told us that if Brenda gets here tell her to come and see me. So I am scared, I am worried and yeah I go and see her. And then the first thing she tells me is um Brenda I have talked to your mom. I'm like ah, ah 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 don't even start with that woman because she is the problem. Mrs. Pastor just just sat there and listened to me for the first time I got someone who was just listening. She was not answering me back. She was not defending my mom. She was not defending me. She just sat there and listened. And after the listening, she told me that Brenda, okay, I understand where you're coming from. But Do you know that your mom just as your mom is trying to save you from all these problems just that is just simply how Jesus is also trying to save you from the things that are unseen. I I I got to see my mom's protection from a different perspective at that point. I got to understand some basics of Christianity. When people talk about salvation you are practically being saved from something or saved to something or saved by someone for me from my perspective in a simplified manner is salvation is an everyday thing god protects me every day from the various uh, from the different dangers and harms that ha- have been placed for me out there by people by myself at m- most of the time by things that are seen and even those that are unseen and i find joy and i smile each and every moment knowing that at the end of it all i got this because god's got me the fact that mrs pastor listened and she was not judgy she gave me her ear she gave me time to just speak it out to cry it out i actually cried that day i cried and i think that is also what god does he gives us that space to just speak at times it's not at the pulpit at times we just have to relate it to something that we basically know for me it was my mom i went to high school and immediately after my mom got unwell she was bedridden she could not at times she she couldn't even come to see me in school and i felt i felt it i felt the the gap that was there I was coming back home and I have to for me time I have to go back to school and and she can't even get out of her seat to just say goodbye to me and I remembered the day Mrs. Pastor talked to me and told me that my mom loves me 
and each and every time a pastor stands at the pulpit and reminds me of how Jesus loves me I relate back to how my mom loves me and how my parents love me so even as a teenager that is how my salvation was simplified and I believe even in this camp meeting someone is going to have their Damascus experience someone is going to get someone who listen to them who will show them love who will help them to get their experience with Jesus don't miss this opportunity to recharge your spirit and renew your faith it is a time to reconnect with God, grow in faith, and create cherished moments with fellow believers. Join us at Current Community SDA Camp Meeting and let your heart be inspired. The Camp Meeting will take place on the 10th to 17th August 2024. And the theme is Salvation Simplified. For more details, visit our website at www.sdacc.org. Do you want to know how your salvation is simplified? All you need to do is to show up.